Hey, my name's Zach. Using Google Chrome to screen capture actually isn't a really good process. They do have a couple of extensions that you can get, but I really feel they're a little bit buggy. If you have a Windows computer, you have some great options. The one I like the best is QuickTime Pro. Now, QuickTime Pro is a built-in feature to your Windows computer. You do have to pay $19.99 for the Pro version, but it's totally worth it. You can do unlimited movie captures, screen captures, and even audio recordings, and it makes it a very powerful computer. So, I'm on Google Chrome right now, and I'm actually using QuickTime to record this screen capture. It's effectively recording my screen and the audio from my voice. Now, QuickTime's down here, and if I right click, you can see new screen recording here. Now, unfortunately, I can't do a screen recording within a screen recording, but if I did have another program, then I definitely could. So I could use QuickTime to record myself doing a screen capture with Camtasia, for example. Camtasia is a great multimedia editor, and I really like that program as well, and I'm going to show you how to get it. So I'm going to go to Google. And once in Google, we'll just look for Camtasia. And we can go here for all the Mac features. Now, the reason I like Camtasia so much is because if you don't have Final Cut Pro or Adobe or Avid or Lightroom or any of those multimedia editors, then you're in luck because you could spend the money and get one of those programs and spend the money and get a screen capture program, or Camtasia is all encompassing. Basically, you can record the screen, and they have a multimedia editor built right into the program just for $299, which I think is a pretty good deal. So, you can get a free trial here, or just buy it now and take my word for it. Now, if I scroll down, you can see these are our record options. So, TechSmith's website is a great place for you to go. They have other tutorials on how to do a bunch of different things with their programs. I still suggest just using QuickTime, but if you need a multimedia editor, Camtasia is your best bet. My name's Zach, and I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.